Suge Knight, right? I'm going to play this audio from his podcast. He got a podcast with Dave Mays. And shout out to Dave Mays, man. But, um, you know, in this audio, he talks about how, you know, Tupac, he helped a lot of people. And he feels like when Tupac died, they didn't stand up for him. And, you know, while he's saying this, he shows a picture of Diddy and Snoop, you know, a picture they took together. Then he plays an audio of, you know, the Outlaws, you know, them doing a song with Little C's. So I want you to listen to this audio, man, and give me your opinion. Okay. All the people Pac helped, buying cars, houses, putting them in apartments, security, putting them on zones, being label mates with them. Everything, right? Yeah. And nobody never stood up for them. So once Pac left, even people in his own groups that he was putting out, they started doing songs with his enemies. It's bigger than some peace treaty. Case lace and the rap game needs how we bury the hatchet. This is history. They start taking pictures with his enemies. Yeah, I feel Suge on that. And I because Suge, like, no matter what the people say from what I Suge love pop, bro. You know, you have a lot of people that say he did this. I'm I'm just gonna be what I seen from it. You know, I hear some people say that Pac was gonna lead death row people. Maybe they saw that side of Pac. I haven't seen that side, you know what I mean? If you hear somebody say that they, they Pac was gonna leave death row, I never heard him say it, but I do remember the love that him and Suge had for each other. That's what I recall. So Suge is the type of person, he just like, I'm, he ride, he, it is what it is to the end. But, and I also understand the outlaws. I'm not, I don't, I, I, I don't think the outlaws will be doing a song with Dre or somebody that was in a car that killed Pop, something that Snoop and them did. I know they would never do nothing like that, but I understand where the outlaws are coming from because, you know, they looking at it from a standpoint of view is that, you know, they lost Pac, they lo he lost Biggie, you know what I mean? Maybe if Pac was alive, he probably would have squashed the beef with Biggie because I remember Pac used to say that, I heard him say that out of his own mouth, my ears heard him say, I don't want nothing bad to happen to Biggie. He just like a little brother that I need to spank. You know what I mean? So he used to say, I don't want to see nothing really, really terrible happen to Biggie. So you never know. I, I, so I kind of understand why the outlaw has done it. Sometimes people want maturity. Sometimes people grow up. You understand? Sometimes the people have their different reason. Suge have his mentality. He want to, you know, and I understand his reason. But I, I respect the outlaws for being men and saying, look, let's sit down. Let's chop it up, you know what I mean? Because it, it, from what I know, Noble and, and Lil Cease was on the phone. It was getting, it was, it was heated. Then they decided to talk like men and do what they had to do. So I kind of respect that as well. The same way I respect when Pot ran into to Nas and he shook his hand and they spoke. Sometimes this happened, you know what I mean? It's not always about going to beef or going to war because what's going to happen? So, but I do understand what Suge coming from because Suge is mad. He he loved Pac and he. He want people to ride with him f f towards to the end. So, you know what I mean? But I don't, um, I understand, man. Some people grow up, you know, maturity. Some people set in, and even in the same clip, I heard Suge said in one of his interviews, like, whatever it is for the culture, I don't care if it's this person or that person, I'm willing to talk to him. The outlaws maybe felt the same way about the culture, from what they doing, you know what I mean? So I kind of understand where everybody coming from. Yeah, I agree. I mean, me personally, I ain't have an issue with it. I mean, it's coming since the reason why they did it. You know, Pac and Big Dead, you know, why keep the beef going, man? And just squash everything. So, you know, I understand why they did it. So Yeah, so I get it too. But Suge is Suge, you know. <laughs> Suge the type, like, Suge, like, bro, we, I'm probably this to the end. And that's how he feel. So, you know, you gotta knock, you can't knock him when you can't knock them. You know what I mean? But in life, you got to really come to some type of understanding where you got to sit back sometime and say, I have kids now, I have grandkids. You understand? Like, sometimes it's good to sit back and say, is it even worth it? You know what I mean? Like, maybe he don't, some people just crazy forever, you know? <laughs> but some people, some people got to know when to turn it on and turn it off. Like, you got to really outweigh the bad with the good, you know what I mean? So Little C's was just like, he, he never was in no... He never even did a song dissing Pac. He never was, he just happened to be Biggie Boy. You know what I mean? Pac dissed him, they never retaliated. So I kind of understand when people want to grow up and, and, and get to that level of peace. It happens sometimes. You know what I mean? Um, but Shook, that's how Shook is though. <laughs>